In the last video, we did some practice problems writing the equilibrium constant. Now we're going to talk about writing the equilibrium constant, but a derivation of the equilibrium constant that uses pressures instead of concentrations. Now let me uh, just reiterate here that you can still write gases into the equilibrium constant using concentrations. It is perfectly perfectly legitimate to write the concentration of a gas. Gases have concentrations. You can write the concentration of a gas in molarity. That's perfectly fine. But it is often uh, easier just because uh, we, we use gas pressure sensors to measure uh, the presence of gases. Uh, it might sometimes be easier to write the equilibrium constant in terms of pressure. So you would have the partial pressures of the individual gases instead of the concentration. And so this would give us what we call Kp instead of Kc. So Kp is the exact same thing as Kc, the equilibrium constant, only we're using partial pressures, but everything else is still the same. We're still just doing products over reactants, and we are still raising the pressures to the coefficients from the balanced chemical equation. Now in some situations, Kp and Kc are equal to each other. So these two will be the exact same thing for a chemical reaction if there's no change in the number of gas molecules from one side of the reaction to the other. So if, for example, we have some chemical reaction and there's two moles of gas on the one side and there's two moles of gas on the other side, then Kp and Kc will be exactly the same thing. But if there is a difference, so if we, uh, for example, start with no gas and then make gas, or maybe we start with only one mole of gas and we end up with three or, or something like that. If there is a change from one side of the chemical reaction to the other, then Kp and Kc will be different. Now thankfully, it's not terribly difficult to convert between the two. Uh, we'll just use this equation to do that. So what you can see is Kp the equilibrium constant but with pressures is equal to Kc, the equilibrium constant with concentrations, times Rt raised to the uh, delta n. So R here is just the gas constant, same thing we've seen uh, a thousand times up to this point. T is the temperature in Kelvin. Uh, which would have to be in Kelvin to match the gas constant, uh, but that is the temperature. And then delta N is the change in the number of gas molecules. And so this will be products minus reactants, uh, like any other delta value. So how many moles of gas do we have as products? Minus however many we have as reactants. So if we end with 3 and we started with 2, delta N would be 1. We got one more uh, mole of gas. And if it was flipped, then delta N would be minus 1. Uh, just whatever the case may be. But that is how we're going to convert between Kp and Kc. So let's look at an example of this. So this says nitrogen monoxide, a pollutant, is an automobile uh, is in automobile exhaust. It's oxidized to nitrogen dioxide in the atmosphere according to that reaction. We are given Kp for this reaction. We're told Kp is 2.2 times 10 to the 12, uh, specifically at 25 degrees C. It'll be different at different temperatures, but we're not going to worry about different temperatures for now. Um, we're just going to, uh, the main reason that they gave us this is because we need the temperature for our equation. Uh, and we are tasked to, uh, with finding Kc. So if you remember our equation, 
it told us that kp is equal to kc times the gas constant times the temperature raised to delta n. So we need, uh, first of all, to do a little bit of algebra. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to divide both sides by RT raised to the delta N. Because that will cancel all of that out, leaving me with just KC over here. So this is what I'm going to be solving to find KC. I know what R is. R is just a constant. Uh, actually, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm writing strange numbers. Not 8.312. There we go. And I believe this is the units that we want, um, although I, re I uh, reserve the right to change that in a minute if I start solving the e equation and I realize I have the wrong r value. If you remember, the other r value is the 0 0.08206, but that's with the liter atmospheres instead of joules. But I believe the joules will be just fine here. I believe that uh, it'll, it'll work out. We'll see one way or the other. All right, uh, the temperature is going to be 298 Kelvin, because we're told that it is uh, 25 degrees C. Just add 273 to that. If you want to add in the 0.13 at the end, that's perfectly fine too. I'm just going to stick to 298. So, KC, uh, oh, and then also uh, delta N. So if we uh, look at our reaction here, we start with three moles of gas as reactants, and we end with two moles of gas. So delta N is going to be negative one, because it's going to be two minus three. All right, so let's go ahead and plug in what we know. So we're given Kp, so 2.2 times 10 to the 12 is Kp. We're going to divide that by 8.314 times 298, and all of that raised to the negative 1. Okay. So if I plug that in here, it would be helpful if I plugged it in correctly. Okay, let me try that again. 2.2 times 10 to the 12 divided by 8.314 times 298 raised to the negative 1. So I am getting 5.45 times 10 to the 15. So a little bit bigger than it was, uh, than the KP was. I think we'll go ahead and call it there for this video. Uh, in the next one, we will look at heterogeneous equilibria, which is where we'll be looking at certain equilibria where we actually don't take everything from the balanced chemical equation and put it into the equilibrium constant. We will actually leave some stuff out uh, depending on its phase. So we'll talk about that in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you didn't already uh, stop the video, although I guess if you did, you wouldn't be hearing me right now. Uh, but after I finished filming that last video, I went and double checked and I was wrong. Uh, we do actually want to use the 0.08206 version of the gas constant. 
Um, and so if you use the 0.08206 version, you do get a slightly different number. Um, it is 5.38 uh, times 10 to the 13. Uh, so I just wanted to stick this in here real quick at the end of this video um, since I did have a mistake. I didn't want to work through that and that whole question again, uh, but I did want to make you aware that uh, I was incorrect as to the, the version of the gas constant to use there. So you do want to use the, uh, the version that we had in Chem 1 with liter atmospheres instead of joules.